Early this year, a Kickstarter campaign promised us the future, that we would be able to control pretty much anything with a simple gesture-based ring, that we could send messages, make payments, control the lights in our house, and more. It was an idea that raised nearly a million dollars on Kickstarter. It was featured all over the web on Time Magazine, etc., etc., and now that ring is a reality. My friend Larry Greenberg sent me his to review, and as we can expect, it works just as we thought, right? N no, it's a piece of sh Inside the box, you will receive your $269 value. Yes, I'm being facetious. No, it's not a good value. $269. Inside the box, you get the ring, this quote-unquote wireless charger, which is hardly wireless at all. It has two tiny little brass pins that need to be lined up perfectly to make contact and charge. And the ring itself is monstrously big. Let me get this out of the way. I have fat fingers. I have big hands. And even on my big bear claws, this thing looks gigantic. Look at it. It's like a saucer around my finger. Not only is it large and incredibly uncomfortable, I can't even close my hand. I can't bend or move my finger. It is a joke how large this thing is. A small capacitive button on the left side of Ring indicates to the iPhone and to Ring that you're ready to make a gesture. A LED light is indicated to the user to indicate that it's ready to receive said gesture. Now, the problem is, is that this LED light only works half of the time and usually the Ring needs to be reset. So the hardware is really, really lackluster, disappointingly so, especially for $269. But the good thing is that the software makes up for the hardware shortcomings, right? <laughs> no, not at all. The software is actually even worse than the hardware. It doesn't ever register, uh, you know, the, the commands that you're doing. The gestures work about 5% of the time. It's incredibly frustrating. It's comically unusable. I've even contacted Ring Support to make sure I'm doing it right and that I don't have a defective unit. They've indicated me to that that rate of success is pretty normal. So not only does this not work most of the time, but it's even more finicky than that. Let's look. If we get into the software, you can see that there's a couple different menus with options, but main, uh, the main action happens here on the home screen. Not only can you complete your actions from the screen, but you can edit them. So if you add new actions, there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can quote unquote theoretically do, like turn on your Philips Hue light, send software to your Android Wear watch, etc. The issue is that it never works, ever. A lot of the even cooler ideas that were featured on the, you know, like TV control, for example, that were featured on the Kickstarter video, those aren't present. And Logbar has said that they're probably not ever coming to ring. So once you get a, you know, a gesture set up, it's time to execute it. Again, it works probably five to 10% of the time. And even when it works, it's very, very glitchy, like changing a volume on iOS. Here's the funny thing on iOS, and on, well, you're gonna see Android, it doesn't work from the home screen. The app has to be running for a gesture to work. So it's completely bogus. Rather than clicking the camera icon from your home screen, you have to open, unlock your phone, go to the Ring app, open the Ring app, wait for the app to open, wait for the Bluetooth connection to take place, and then create your command. It's horrible. So I thought, well, on Android, it has to be better, right? No, not at all. If you leave the app and you try to complete the action, it doesn't work. So the app has to be running for an action to complete. It is the most inconvenient, useless piece of hardware and software that I have ever, ever seen. I would not wish my worst enemy the curse of having to use this product. It's absolutely horrible. Not worth $269, not worth $5. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs. Stay far away from this. It will destroy your life. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.